Hey guys, Omni here. I thought we'd do a little movie reaction here today since the sequel for said movie is coming out here soon. And as we talked about it during a particular trailer reaction, I think I've maybe forgotten this movie completely if I've ever even seen it at all. <laughs> and that is Hocus Pocus. Um, I talked about this in the trailer reaction for the second film that I, I feel like I've had to have seen this movie. I've, the only part of it that I can recollect at all is that uh, whenever I was a kid and I watched this, I had some kind of a crush on Sarah Jessica Parker's character in this. That's it. And the scene in the graveyard with a black cat and a zombie kid. Do you guys ever have any of those things where like, you know, it could be a show or it could be a movie, but any time... It's on TV. You always catch the exact same part. That was this movie for me. I feel like statistically, I would have had to have seen more of the movie than just that. But literally all I can remember is something about a graveyard, a zombie kid, a cat, and some, some children. And I think a book. That's it. That's all I got. And this is like one of those big cult classic kind of films like you know i'd kind of like lump this up uh, with as much as people talk about it up there with like now I, I can't speak for as far as quality but like i would say like labyrinth or dark crystal or things like that when people talk about these types of things and even those films i didn't even see until i was in my late 20s both labyrinth and uh dark crystal and uh yeah man uh so i don't know like Something in me, and unless the Mandela effect has deleted it from my brain, um, I don't remember shit about this movie at all. Uh, and I was hoping that maybe the trailer for the second one might trigger a couple of things. And it did. I did recognize the zombie kid, because apparently that character or a similar one is coming back for the second film. So that at least confirmed that I wasn't hallucinating and at least, or mistaking the movie. So there is that. So I don't know. The new one's coming out and I thought it'd be fun to visit slash revisit maybe kind of this movie and see how it goes um, and see how we feel about it. And we're kicking off Spooky Month. Technically, the second movie is coming out in September, which I find odd though it is the last day of September. And I guess the release calendar just, uh, you know, fell the way it did. So it just missed uh, the start of October by a day. But uh, yeah, we're going to be jumping into this one. I think it'll be a fun thing to do. Uh, we got a lot of spooky stuff that we'll be covering this October anyway. We've got The Midnight Club from Mike Flanagan coming out, and we've got Chucky season two and depending on how i enjoy this film who knows we might react to hocus pocus too um but yeah man i'm excited oh speaking of odd and this is kind of uh something I, I think was actually posted today that i found odd was we know netflix was doing that wednesday adams series with jenna ortega i am shocked that that's coming out in november seems like a huge missed opportunity to release it in October. Maybe they don't want to be have like competing shows like with Mike Flanagan's thing because every, every October like he's got a show that comes out with them or whatever, but I don't know. Just thought that was weird. Anyway, that was a little side note. But guys, we're going to go ahead and hop into this. So if you want to see the full length reaction to this, you can check it out over on Patreon or if you become a member of the channel, it gives you access as well. You just sync up your own footage with the time code, see our reaction to the entire film. I'm watching this on Disney Plus, so if you got it, that's an easy way to do that. Zero marker right there. Pretty much said and done for you. Um, you also get access to the same thing for all the shows that we cover here on the channel. You also get to vote and suggest what movies react to each month. We got monthly Q&As, behind the scenes footage, trying to make it worth your while since you are going out of your way to support the channel. But of course, I know nobody can do that. And a simple way you can help us out is just by liking, commenting, subscribing, sharing these videos because it really does help us a great deal with growing here on YouTube. But with that all said and down the way, guys, let's go ahead and hop into Hocus Pocus. Here we go. <laughs> Pass to see my sister Emily. 
But look, they conjure. Oh god, the woods! If that was like Sarah Jessica Parker, I think maybe not. Nah, maybe it was somebody else. Okay, never mind. They didn't. She didn't get that far. <laughs> I was like, not yet. You wait my I was like, man, if she was just passing that window and was already in the center of the woods, like with a fire going, she booked it, man. But then again, they're witches, you know, magic. But nah, she was just like in the field. Then again, there are two other witches. They can be prepping everything while she's luring the children away. Don't know why I'm already overthinking things right now. Damn. That was a good fall, though. That would have hurt like shit, though. Wake up, darling. Just have a bowl of fucking toes. <laughs> this might be a really weird thing to say, but her hair really makes me want a croissant roll right now. One thing more and all is done. You had a bit of mine on tongue. Wait. Oh, really? Did they mean that literally? Did they spit or did they literally bite off a tip of their tongue and shoot it in there? And her life will be mine. I mean, ours. They trying to drain her youth. Do you know how hot that thing would be? Oh! Oh! She fucking palpatined his ass! What the shit? <laughs> <laughs> Whatever shall we do with him? Let's barbecue and fillet him. Hang him on a hook and let me play with him. <laughs> I like the way she thinks. Yes. His punishment must be more fulsome, more lingering. You know, this is, I mean, it, they like straight up killed that kid though, right? That's a dark way to start this movie. I was almost said show. Give him black, black, just black. This. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, that, yeah, that, that corset man. <laughs> Or... Yeah, let's just hide the corpse. God, that's so, kind of fuck. That's so fucked up, man. What hast thou done with my son Thackeray? Well, I don't know. God's got my tongue. <laughs> I mean, not a bad one. I mean, child murder and a public hanging. Disney uh, had a moment. A black cat guards the old Sanderson house. Warning off! Who might make the witches come back to life. She's <laughs> <laughs> like, BAM! <laughs> Halloween was invented by the candy companies. <laughs> it's a conspiracy. It just so happens that Halloween is based on the ancient feast called All Hallows' Eve. It's the one night of the year where the spirits of the dead can return to Earth. Yeah, you stupid Californian. Fucking hippie. 
In case Jimi Hendrix shows up tonight, here's my number. I don't know if that was smooth or just fucking weird. <laughs> or both. Max. Hello, 40-year-old student. <laughs> <laughs> oh, fuck. You know, I've been to Massachusetts. I don't know why I said it like that. Visiting MIT and stuff like that. But I never really went up the Salem end. So, like, I've only ever been to Boston and uh, Cambridge. But, like, is it kind of like Roswell and Salem? Or no? Because Roswell, their, like, entire town's identity is alien shit. I would have to imagine it's a little bit of a touchier subject up there considering how kind of fucked a lot of that history kind of tied into everything. Ah. She had like a witchy hood going on. Los Angeles. LA. Oh, dude. Tubular. I'm Jay. This is Ernie. Together we're Journey. No thanks, I don't smoke. They're very health conscious in Los Angeles. <laughs> <laughs> you got any cash? G good one? I do love the aesthetic, though, of, like, the Massachusetts area like this. Hey, Max! Hey, how was school? Sucked. Hey, 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 watch your language. It's still kind of crazy to me how, like, people used to be so, like, upset about the just using of the word sucks. Like, I had a teacher in high school who, if you even said it out loud, you'd get detention and then spend detention writing the definition of the word vacuum on the board until your time was up. Things don't suck, vacuum suck. Oh, Allison, you're so soft. Just wanna... <laughs> Danny! <laughs> I scared you, I scared you, huh? Uh, you're the, you're gonna be the new prey when uh the sisters return. Guess what? You're good at thinking trick or treating. Not this year, Danny. Mom said you have to. Well, she can take you. She and Dad are going to the party at Town Hall. Well, you're eight. Go by yourself. Uh, what? <laughs> Come on, Max. Couldn't you forget about being a cool teenager just for one night? Please? Come on. We used to have so much fun together. Trick Stop being such a cool teenager. What the Sorry, fuck is that? Is that a bear or an alligator? And why, 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 what is it? Hey, Max. What are you supposed to be? Secret agent? A rap singer. Uh... Well, your head should be on sideways, shouldn't it? <laughs> God damn it. He looks more like an undercover, like, police officer or some shit. Trust me, kids, I'm legit. <laughs> you know this... The long-haired goon kind of reminds me of like a young Kmart Val Kilmer. This dude fit great. They would have killed him. would have died like a man. God, <laughs> getting roasted. Humiliated me in front of half the guys at school. I don't think. I don't think she had anything to do with that. Just be me. She is just on somebody else's porch. Crying on their pumpkin. <laughs> Give me one more chance. Those are some damn good pumpkins, man. All mine I ever carved were such trash, man. Rich people. They're probably making string cider and bob for apples. Oh, is this gonna be the uh, girl from school? Max? 
Yep. What is this fucking eyes wide shut Victorian ass shit? You guys want some cider? Some rich cult shit right here. <laughs> so, um, how's the party? Boring. It's just a bunch of my parents' friends. They do this every year. I've got There's a key to... jar out there, and then they take those back and pass them all out, and then everybody just kind of disappears for a few hours, and then lots of weird, weird sounds echo through the halls. Max likes your yabos. In fact, he loves them. I'm really into it. <laughs> really? <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, dude. Hey, let me get changed. You'll never miss me. I love your yabos. Just, just do this one thing for me and I'll do anything you say. Please? Please? Okay, okay. next year we go trick-or-treating as Wendy and Peter Pan with tights or it's no deal. <laughs> I like her. I can't see a thing. <laughs> well, there's a light switch around here somewhere. H how? Why? Oh, right. Never mind. Duh. I'm an idiot. They literally had said they converted their home into a museum. Uh, found a lighter. I was just like, there's no way they had electricity when this house was built. Whoa. Like a fucking idiot. <laughs> Witch's broom. As opposed to... Normal broom. It was given to her by the devil himself. The book is bound in human skin and contains the recipes for her most powerful and evil spells. I get the picture. Speaking of books of human skin, I still need to see Evil Dead 2 and Army of Darkness. I've still only seen the first Evil Dead and uh, the reboot. Legend says that on a full moon it will raise the spirits of the dead when lit by a virgin on Halloween night. So let's light the sucker and meet the old frauds and do the honors. No, thanks. I'm not a virgin. <laughs> no, be nice to the cat. Max, she's right. Let's go. Oh, come on. It's just a bunch of hocus pocus. Ah. <laughs> Well, he just revealed he's a virgin to everybody in this room. Thackeray, you did a shit job stopping this. But what can you do, man? Just a cat. No, like, grand resurrection. They just kind of, like, a, they just walk in through the door. This is a little disappointing. Tell me, Dumpling. What is the year? 1993. <gasps> Sisters? We have been gone 300 years. Dude, there's got to be a drinking game. Roast him, Woody. No, let me, let me play with him. I can see why I, I uh, enjoyed Sarah Jessica Parker's character, <laughs> I think. <laughs> Hello. Yeah, I don't remember any of this though. I'm surprised that actually worked with as much as that big old horn on her head would have uh, cushioned that impact. I gotta say, like, so far, I'm, like, quite enjoying the film, man. I mean, for the time, this cat effect's not that bad. I don't know. They, 
updated it or anything, but that looked d pretty decent, actually. Most refreshing. You idiot. The boy has tricked us, and he's stolen the book. Absolute. Sorry, man. My head is all up in that gutter right now. Tis a black river. Perhaps it is not too God, deep. I love this. They're just being confused by everything. God, I don't remember any of this, man. Man, this is the worst night of the year. Don't give me a hand. Who, 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 who are they? Boys? Which <laughs> observe that we're black. Boys? <laughs> The recipe for that potion is in my spell book, and the little wretches have stolen it. Therefore, it stands to reason. It, uh, it's <laughs> Dost thou comprehend? Well, you explained it beautifully, Winnie. The way you sort of started out with the adventure part, and then you sort of slowly... Explain what? It's... I fucking love these three, man. Uh, the main one, uh, Winifred. Shit, I can't remember her actress's name. But, like, the commitment to, like, her accent, her shtick is just, it's so good. The rolling of the R's, like, the way she puts, like, just the, the cadence. I don't know, man. I love it. For three centuries, I guarded the house on All Hallows Night when I knew some airhead virgin might light that candle. Nice going, airhead. Hey, look, I'm sorry. Okay? Why does he know the word airhead? I mean, never mind. He's probably noticed lots of people coming in and out. Maybe, I don't know. She must not get it. Let's torch the sucker. Yeah, I was it's gonna say. Magic. It's also from hell, so like fire probably doesn't even do anything to it. I mean, you did curse him with immortality. Kind of a bad decision on your part. Oh, the sky. Life is sweet. Be not too shy. On thy feet. So say it high. Oh, shit. <laughs> yeah, I, I remember this guy. I talked about that in the trailer. I thought that was Thackeray. I thought that was the cat. Like his 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 body body. What am I talking about? I barely remember this movie. In here. I just I, I just assumed, I guess, that the that the that the zombie was the cat's human form. Oh Man, can't even get ahead of death. I won't. Relax. I've hunted mice down here for years. Mice? Oh, God. Hey, gotta do what you gotta do. He's lost his head! Ha! Damn that faculty bigs, damn him! Billy, which way do they go? Ah! Billy, listen to me. Billy. Damn, damn, double damn! So there we're married, but he fooled around with... the one and then she was like fuck you i'll have your guts for god has got confound you very well we must have quick when billy the butcher gets here with my book look i love that one man i love her man soothing nah. rabbit bat yum black death mummy scorpion pie what wait what did what was that last thing they just said? Mother? What is this contraction? I call it a bus. And its purpose? To convey gorgeous creatures such as yourselves to your most forbidden desires. We desire children. <laughs> hey, that may take me a couple of tries, but I don't think that'd be a problem. <laughs> what? what is he talking about picking up kids or pumping out kids? <laughs> He's like, I'll knock all three you up. Just hop in the back, girls. The original bang bus.
Dude, I gotta commend this actor, man, for the the physical humor in the perform. I, I don't know if that's the right phrasing, but like. Anybody ever tell you you very easy on the eyes? The physicality in his performance is a st oh. oh my god. It's all my fault. Does he just like. Ugh. Yeah. I don't like the sounds. The physical comedy in this is really good. Mother say she could see us like this. Uh, mother. Yeah, they did say mother. <gasps> I broke into the old Sanderson house and I brought the witches back from the dead. See, I even have the book. You lit the black flame candle. <laughs> Are you a virgin? Get a tattoo to my forehead, okay? I put my life on the line to protect this community, and you punks pull this. Get out of here. Come on, Danny. Take that cat with you. The fuck? What's so funny, Eddie? I just a bunch of kids following my chain. Oh, he's not even a real cop, is he? Thought I was a real cop. <laughs> I mean. That, that is... I was gonna say, is that tech? That is kind of like skirting the line of what's legal. Wow! Me through! Yeah, what was the game here? Like inviting them all in. All Hallows Eve has become a night of frolic. Oh. Where children wear costumes and run a mug. A mug. A mug. A mug. A mug. Oh God. <laughs> you can't tell me there's not a swinger party happening somewhere. Did she just say she didn't even OD? Candy overdose. <laughs> the fuck? I put a spell on you. And now you're mine. <laughs> she getting seduced here. Nobody's here, sweetheart. Here. Sweetheart, nobody's here. Where are you going? I put a spell on you. Shut up. And now you're mine. <laughs> Oh, they getting like charmed. What? Set up. Set up. So the, her actual witch name is also Sarah. That's why I was getting confused. So it's Winifred, Mary, and Sarah. Yeah, Sarah Sanderson. I love that they just have to walk in that that cadence. I love it. Quel genre de livre 
What high school has a indoor kiln and furnace? Does that not work? You know, typically you burn witches at the stake, burning them at the the in a kiln. Not 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 the same. I don't know why I half expected the cat to do like a run up the tree and do a backflip in celebration. We stopped them. I have wanted to do that for three hundred years <laughs> since they took Emily. You really miss her, don't you? Well, no fucking shit. You're Dennison now, buddy. Oh, no. One of us. Come on, Mace. Let's go home. Home. <laughs> you know, a little weird. I, I think it'd be a little weird owning a cat who was once a human. We got a new cat! Mom? They're still dancing until they die. You know, Binks, I'll always take care of you. You know, this wouldn't have happened I if I wasn't a virgin, you, you know. Who knows? I could accidentally light another candle. Oh yeah, wait a second. Didn't they say that her spell granted them like immortality for a day or something like that? Long uh, longevity enough to last till morning to fulfill their spell? Well, then you want to look in windows and watch babes undress? It's three o'clock, they're undressed already. I don't feel so good. Cause you're eating too much candy, you oinker. Yeah, I remember that was a thing, like the plaid shirt around the waist. But was it really f the back on the front? Just lucky, I guess. <laughs> oh, man. How That's the word I'm looking the for. That stay out late. Hey, listen here, Sarah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, get fucked. <laughs> Let us out of here. We're really sorry. We think you're really cute. Hush. I think. <laughs> um, shit. What's the word I'm looking for still? Apron. Apron, that's the word. She's trying to concentrate now. His thumbs could be. Or was it his gums? A dead man's bun. His bun's bun sounds like. She was right the first time. I mean, it can't move on its own, though, right? Hi. Hi. How the fuck did he sleep like that? Dude, his neck would be so fucked. Which is used to put the spell on him. Maybe there's a way in here to take it off. No, Binks told us not to open it. Well, the witches are dead. What harm could it do? Just be careful. Thing we have so far. <laughs> do I did <laughs> a mop? I thought I, I, I thought I remember a vacuum being involved. And then in the trailer for the new one or something, like, uh, saw one of them was like skating on Roombas. Circle of salt can protect thy victims from thy power. That's normal. I don't know why that book would document how to avoid that sort of stuff. Oh, were they trying to... Okay, never mind. I missed that, I think, when I was talking. They were trying to undo Thackeray's spell. They need to, like, Jumanji this thing and just chuck it into the ocean. I don't know. Something's not right. I feel a lot safer walking home if we had some salt. I mean, normal household salt doesn't work. Typically in most things... I could be wrong. I'm not an, I'm not a spell expert. 
Uh, it says form a circle of salt to protect from zombies, witches, and old boyfriends. And what about new boyfriends? That was like a switch was flipped right there when he said that. Max, the book is gone. I'm telling you something's weird. Danny, wake up. Oh shit. What the fuck? <laughs> Winifred cast fireball. Fucking Count Dooku over here. Jesus, what the fuck? You know, I've, I've, I, I don't know how many times I've said this on the channel, but I've said this of quite a few times in my life, at least within the last year. We need to bring back cloaks. Come on. Like, fuck jackets and all that stuff. Let's bring back cloaks. I hadn't said anything up to this point, but the whole, like, dance till you die thing, and now, like, this zombie army of children being, like, charmed to follow after her was giving me some major, like... Ivan Ooze vibes. We need a miracle. There can be miracles when you believe. Children are coming. <laughs> So, like, if they consumed, like, let's say, like, I mean, one child, like, what, maybe dropped, like, 20 years off of them, give or take. So, if they, like, consume, like, five, ten, or given all of these children, would they just basically become fucking fetuses in the end? Like, how how much does this de-age them? Because in the end, if they're like, let's eat all the children... When they like unbirth themselves. How did she punch Sarah in the knee for that matter? Or maybe she kicked her. I don't know. Didn't see the power greater in your magic. And that's knowledge. One thing that I know that you don't know. And what is that, dude? Daylight savings time. Oh, is he trying to like... They're so dramatic. It's just like with the water. They're so gullible. But they don't know any better. Nah, fuck you guys. The Green Ranger's almost lost his powers, or the uh, Hangman's Ranger. <laughs> she shouldn't know what that is. I have a, I feel like they've had to have done some touch up on this or something because these effects are kind of, I mean, for the time, pretty damn good and clean. Don't double coming on now. Oh, uh, uh. Wench, Trollop, you bucktooth pop right firefly from hell. I know, like, it's dizzy, but I half expect it to be like, FUCK YOU! <laughs> You'll be safe in here. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Pop! 
rocket salt. Hello, uh, Max? Well, I guess. Okay, never mind. I was gonna say, it was like, hmm. Maybe just instantly dump it in, it like releases your power play in the moment. Now you have no choice. Now you have no, what? Oh. Like, no air support at all from these two. <laughs> They're like so slow. Shouldn't she be like I don't know, bursting into flames or something, or maybe it just takes her powers away. I Yeah, this hallowed ground thing isn't really doing anything right now. Oh, it's a little delayed, that's all. Or has nothing to do with anything. The hell? So did the hallowed ground turn her to stone? Oh wait, is he gonna die now that they're dead? I was gonna say, come on man, can't die a virgin. So I got you into this mess. Yeah, th this is what, why did I get this wrong? This is all I remember actually from the movie. I think. Yeah, this whole, this bit. This is. Yeah. Okay, I'm, this is coming back to me. But why did I, why did I think that was Thackeray? I was a dumb kid, I guess. Come on, please don't be sad for me. Thanks. Is that you? Yeah. It's me and my jammies. The witches are dead. My soul's finally free. You freed me, Danny. Thank you. Hey, Max. Thanks for lighting the candle. No. It's still so fucked up that she just got so fast, man. And so young. Yeah, th this, the second he appeared, that's, that's where my memory cut out, man. I don't remember any of this. What took thee so long? I'm sorry, Emily. I had to wait 300 years for a virgin to light a candle. <laughs> the way he said that. He's like, look at this virgin over here. <laughs> oh yeah, the fucking parents. Oh no. Did they, they didn't, re they really sequel baited this all the way back then? Interesting. Hey, I gotta say, man, I really enjoyed this movie. And I'll, I'll be honest, man, I will be 100% honest. Like, even watching this, I'd say like 95% of it 
still never triggered a memory. I even completely misremembered the one thing that I thought I did remember. I thought the zombie was, I thought the zombie was Thackeray's body resurrected to come back after them. But I enjoyed it, man. The physical comedy in this was on point. And this, the, the, like back and forth, the banter between the sisters was just a lot of fun. That's, I mean, I was raised during this time, so that humor works for me. The si brother-sister dynamic between Max and Danny also found really endearing. But, like, Ma Max as a character was just a doofus. Like, anytime he needed to, like, get somebody to believe him in any t type of way, like, he completely went about it the wrong way. <laughs> I love how everybody was just roasting him the entire movie, though. This was fun. It was, like, seriously, I was, like, wondering about the effects being dated. I was wondering about the humor being dated. Like, any time I watch something, like, this far back, I'm always wondering, like, is this going to be one of those situations where I missed out on it? Is it all nostalgia? Is it all hype or anything like that? I legitimately enjoyed this and had fun with it. It's hokey but so much fun. And I did not expect that just how dark it was. It was, it kept the light. It kept that weird, goofy, like banter and slapstick humor. And even in the beginning, while they are literally murdering a child and then they're hung. I was like, oh, Jesus, Disney chill. It actually does have me legitimately like interested in the new one coming out. I was curious mostly because of, like I've said, like the cult, following this movie has had and um you know i know that a lot of people that watch this every year and stuff like that and it's like around halloween comes around people are like it's time to bust out hocus pocus i've just never been in that circle but i, I kind of get it now it's fun it's a it takes place on halloween halloween is part of the theme fits right in it's creepy it's crawly but it's a fun little adventure with some fun little characters. And again, I feel like they've had to have touched these effects up. Or something. Because some of those effects, they for for 93, they they looked so clean. Thackeray talking looked like that might have been retouched up. And when they're composited and flying around and stuff like that, it looked really good for the time. Like, as I remember plenty of movies that came out around then where that would have been awful looking on this. I know this was also cropped into a uh, widescreen format, which I definitely don't feel like the original was shot on or not shot on, but like uh, distributed in. I'm curious. Uh, I wonder if their page has anything about it. Well, it does. It has been re-released with new special features, deleted scenes and behind the scenes stuff since then. It has been re-released on Blu-ray and digital, and that was definitely in 1080p, so um, there was also a 4K version of it, so it has been restored, so I don't know if they've done any other visual touch-ups on it, because it does, it has been re, it has been re-released and, you know, upscaled at least, at minimal, but like I said, like those compositing effects, but with the green screen elements and then Aside from like the smoke clouds and all of the sky beam particle lightning effects, those all still looked of the time, but like the, like the C, like the C, not CGI, but like the green screening effects when they're flying through the sky and stuff like that, that just all looked really crisp and clean. It's not like they were, you know, Lucas went in and removed Puppet Yoda and in Phantom Menace with the CG one or anything like that. But it, it definitely looked like they did some trickery on that. But I could be completely off on that and projecting. I'm really curious to see how they... Because I, I they they played with, around with it a little bit in this. Like their fish out of water. Like nature coming up, waking up hundreds of years from when they were hung into this new world. And the confusion here and there with the elements. With you know kids running around with asphalt. With bro the, the vacuum cleaner. With the bus. Like stuff like that not really understanding the time they're in. They didn't play with it as much as I thought they would, but the when the way they did, I thought that was a lot of fun. But have, them having tasted the 90s, um, I'm wondering if this new one will lean into that 
at all because I find that to be a fun element to play around with. And that could be a fun way to also kind of show just how much the world has changed since they were last here. I know we're at least going to be having to, one of them riding on Roombas. So there's that at least. But aside from that, I'm wondering how much this is going to connect. So Billy, I did see in the trailer for the new one. So I guess he'll be brought back into the play. Uh, I didn't realize or remember at all that he was her ex-husband. I might, I might definitely have to add this into my Halloween rotation. Not, not even going to lie, man. This was fun. The characters are iconic. They're memorable. That well, should I even say that right now? Because I don't remember shit about this except my like outstanding crush on Sarah Jessica Parker, and that's just because, damn, she's fine. God, and she it's still, still, still works, man. I would have been dead in a real quick <laughs> if they ever showed up around me, man. But um, I'm very curious to see what they do in the new one. Speaking of, you know, Halloween rotations and stuff like that, one I've also never seen is Halloween Town. It's down here in Suggested. Never seen Halloween Town. I, I think I've seen like bits of it and I just could, I just always checked out and I just never, ever watched it. I wasn't big on like Disney TV or most of Disney's live action stuff when I was younger. I pretty much only watched almost exclusively their animated stuff. Uh, I never even watched Disney Channel for that matter, except for Disney Afternoon. I did watch that uh, when I was growing up, like Tailspin, DuckTales, uh, Goof Troop, Darkwing Duck is a huge one for me. And I'm really hoping that reboot still comes through. Like, that's the, like the extent of, like, Disney that I went through. Like, if it wasn't, like, a Disney animated theatrical release or Disney Afternoon, I pretty much paid it no mind. Growing up, there's very few live action things that I, I remember being very into. You know, Jurassic Park was one of them. Power Rangers was one of them. Um, Star Wars, obviously, was a huge one when I was a kid. But yeah, I was mostly just, a, I stuck to, like, animation for a long time as a kid. So I think that's one of the main reasons why this, at the time, didn't, maybe didn't catch my interest enough to, like, actually commit to memory what was there no I, and maybe that's the only reason why at surface level i committed to memory the zombie the cat because i i still i'm a cat guy i love cats and sarah jessica parker because damn she fine so like that's probably the only reason those things survived to this time in my mind and everything else just got nuked but yeah I'm just glad I enjoy this, man, because it would be very sad for, I, I think, for anybody watching this and for myself to come into this, watch it, and none of it work. Guys, what's your history with Hocus Pocus? How do you feel about it now? How did you feel about it then? Are you looking forward to the new film? Sound off the comments. Let me know your thoughts down below. We'll carry on the conversation after the video. Feel free to join us in our Discord. We can talk about it there as well. Links to that in all my social description box below. Follow me in each and every one of those. Remember, if you want to see the full length reaction to this, you can check it out over on Patreon or if you become a member of the channel, it gets you access as well. And speaking of, before we go, I want to shout out our channel legends, Manny Sherrod, Ryan, Karen, Jason Coleman, Philly Vane, Yori, Corey Scott, Margaret Grace, Mary Bradley, Melita, Robert Anguiano, Raven McCann, Status Alive, and Jeffrey Hale. Thank you guys so much for your continued support. But that's it for this video, guys, and I'll see you all in the next one. Take care, everybody.